welcome to my adventure. Um, it has been a very, very long time since I've filmed or done anything like this. I feel a bit awkward doing this and speaking to a camera and I'm doing a lot of hand gestures. So just bear with me. But I have been carrying around this camera of mine for the past six months. I've been traveling around Europe, working, exploring, honestly, I can't even put into words into it. Um, but yeah, I've been shopping around, carrying this camera with me, taking photos, taking little videos, but I haven't actually done anything with it. And I haven't done like a proper like talking, almost like vlog style video. So I thought it would be really fun over the next few months as I meet up with my best friend and we start a new adventure in the Swiss Alps and the Netherlands that take you along with me and so you just create these little video diaries for myself and for my memories because I already kind of have this feeling and I don't know just this feeling within me that I've already had literally the time of my life but I think it's gonna get even better and just gonna keep going so welcome to the video diaries um whether you know me whether you don't know me I'm excited for you to follow along and join in on the chaos that is backpacking and traveling hope you enjoy watching grab whatever snacks you want whether you're living vicariously through me you're just a little nosy nora who wants to keep up to date with my life or maybe you're all in love with me um i hope you enjoy This is just like a model, like how do you explain your life over the past six months in a video? Are you guys even keeping up? Like I'm not even keeping up and this is my life. Oh, um, can you tell like I haven't spoken to a real person? The minute I tell you about traveling for so long and not having a routine is that you will lose your clear beautiful skin and you will just start breaking out. And even though you tell yourself you're gonna be in your sleigh era, sometimes the universe doesn't let you be in your sleigh era and you just look disheveled all the time because you don't have any hair tools and you can't really be bothered and it's kind of empowering like not caring that you look like shit but sometimes you do want to slay i'm your number one fan where the people are doing this now i mean the heart looks cuter anyway i've been filming for literally 10 minutes and i don't think any of this is good what am i doing i'm gonna have to edit this Picture Olivia, just turn the camera off. Stop talking. Okay, good night for now. I'll see you in the morning. Jesus Christ. Let's get ready for the day. So, I have a Harry Potter tour today. And I want to do exploring. And the weather scene. Yeah, rain for the next hour. Okay, so I've put on the base, which is my fur lined tights because it's cold, and a thermal long sleeve. So, this is the base, and probably honestly, the base that I am going to be wearing all winter. So, I'm gonna put on this vintage maxi dress. So, I look a bit like a Natalie today, but I'm kind of going for that I study at Oxford librarian chic. Um, little hack for you. Obviously the jumper is quite long. And I'm gonna take this headband. Usually I honestly just use a bra for this and I just put a bra on over my shirt, but really be bothered to do that. This just gives you something you can tuck it into. I think that is the base that I'm going to go with for now. I'm going to have to add a scarf in my rain waterproof ski jacket. But I'm going to go wash my face and then I'll come back and we can do my makeup. Sorry, cute text from friends. It's currently 8.47. Um, 
it's raining it's raining this morning and then it's supposed to clear up this afternoon but i have a tour that i'm going on which is like a tour of the oxford campuses and harry potter like combined with harry potter because harry potter was a lot of the harry potter scenes were filmed here at oxford in the big universities so i'm really excited to go do that but i thought that this would be a good time while i'm getting ready doing my makeup that we could have a quick catch up before i just jump you into all the traveling thing that we're doing anyway yeah so i left home australia for those of you that like don't know me personally that's really fun that you somehow found this little corner of the internet um and have chosen to watch along on my adventures i personally think it's just going to be friends and family but anyway um i left australia home in end of april this year so it's currently november um so it's been just over six months of traveling and exploring i did hot girl summer i traveled with some friends i traveled by myself i did some volunteering i have been to so many different countries and i literally just can't believe how much i've been able to do in six months i think i actually calculated it and it was like 18 countries which is one two three four five six seven. 18 19 if 19 if we're counting being in the serbia airport for 10 hours because that was a low point but i didn't actually leave the airport um crazy in six months how i've done that like there are people in their lifetimes that don't even go to that many countries so i feel so so blessed that i've been able to do this been able to afford to do this um the past few months i got a remote part-time job which allows me to work while i'm traveling so i do 20 hours a week for a social media agency in london honestly it's my dream setup like i do my hours whenever i want to whenever i can they don't care where or when i work as long as i do the work that i need to do and everything gets delivered so say less like that is literal backpacker travel girl goals anyway but my absolute best friend is rocking up from australia in literally a matter of days so it's friday now she rocks up on monday at 11 30 a.m and i am so beyond excited i probably i talk to her every day facetime probably once every two days but yeah i'm so excited we are spending the week in london with one of my other really close friends who's also has been traveling this year um so we're spending the whole week in London because it's it's my birthday and it's also my other friend's birthday. So um, it's just going to be a week of birthday celebrations in London. And then Sophia, my best friend, and I go to Switzerland for a month and a half to work at a, basically a chalet. To be chalet girls is what we're saying, but we are doing probably a quarter of the work that chalet girls do we are literally just organizing social activities and getting to stay in a beautiful accommodation hopefully. and i can't wait it's gonna be amazing but yes i'm very very excited new chapter new journey i feel like i have had at least the past month and a half a little bit of like a break from the go 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 traveling because i was just getting quite fatigued from it and honestly not enjoying myself i was in these beautiful places and i was just like i don't want to do this by myself anymore like i'm sick of solo traveling i just want to lie in bed and be lazy which is such a hard feeling to combat especially when you're paying all that money and you're on the other side of the world and i think it, you also feel so much guilt like i would just sit in my bed or go to bed early and i'd have people all around me in the hostel who were like i don't know like embracing the hostel experience making friends going out doing the tours and i was like i can't think of anything worse than doing that right now like i just want to sit in my little hostel bubble my hostel bed and not talk to a single soul Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing here. Trust the process. Basically what I'm saying is I think it was good to have a somewhat of a break in between the go 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 traveling 
and just like be in one place at once and almost like hibernate in Scotland at this volunteer thing because now I feel so much more ready and excited to go to start the winter adventure you know and that's what we want that's my chat for now i'm gonna finish getting ready do my hair and then uh show you my full outfit and then we're gonna get going i actually might try and do a little bit of work before we walk out the door i don't want to do any work but I need to, because I need to send some things off. Sorry, just talking to myself. Yeah, I'm gonna go finish my makeup, do my hair, and then I'll chat to you when we're heading out the door. Okay guys, I my ski jacket does not work with the outfit, and it's annoying me from a fashion girly perspective. It's, at this point, it's more just about being functional. Cute. Okay guys, I'm out. I'm about and this feels really zoomed in. I have decided to walk all the way into the Oxford city centre, which is like a 52 minute walk, but I have two hours to kill. And I'm about to walk past Oxford Brooks University, which is where my mum studied. So I'm gonna have a check it out. Check out the campus, you know. Okay, we're gonna go in to Blackwell's because I've been told it's the biggest bookstore in the world. That being said, guys, not to judge a book by its cover, it doesn't look too big, but let's go. just found this, which I really wanna read. This also looks good. Note to self, don't judge a book by its cover. In my tour earlier when we went to it, the dining hall at New College, aka like the Great Hall from Harry Potter, was closed. So I'm going back now and hopefully it's open. Yes, and that's near. Call me ma'am and madam from now on. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited. I hope it lives up to all the expectations. What's crazy to me is that the students eat the dinner here. They say new college of the highest. Famous Harry Potter arches and archways. Okay, so I'm back in my Airbnb now. I I'm exhausted. Okay everyone. Good morning. Welcome back. The sun is shining. It is still supposed to be a crisp 10 degrees today, low of three, but there's no rain. So that means I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna explore. It's already 10 a.m. I would like to say that I spent the morning being productive and doing work, but I haven't. So I'm gonna go out, do some shopping, do some exploring, um, and then I'm gonna come back this afternoon and try bust out some work. Um, but yeah, 
Wow, I've got a cute little fit on today. My eyebrows. I'm gonna put on my scarf because I think it'll still be quite crisp out there. And we're gonna get a rock and rolling. So yeah, let's go. Look at those blue, blue skies, everybody. I literally had like three weeks straight of rain in Spain, in France, and in the UK. So this, this is magical. This is magical. I've made it to the famous Eddington shop. I mean, at the end of the day, it really just is a shark and a roof. Not much else to it. Okay, hello everyone. It is it's my last night in Oxford tonight and today I got a couple of things in preparation for seeing the girls um not tomorrow but the day after on Monday. Um uh, Monday is also Lydia's birthday and a big thing about me is I love birthdays and celebrating the people in my life. And I am like, I'm a big gift giver. I just love little like things, like little, just like little special like moments of just like treating my friends like with little things that I don't know that I know about them. First of all, I got found this headband and it was one pound and it's like birthday girl. And I just thought it would be so cute because it's both of our birthdays. So we could just like swap around. We could just wear it throughout the week. And it's only one pound. So I was like, we can ditch it after. I also got her some cute socks it was like three for two and these just gave me Lydia vibes I also did get a pair with cowboy boots on but I think I'm gonna keep these for myself I already have so many socks but these are just so cute I'm a sucker for like a cute pair of socks um so that's like I guess like the main thing and then I just got little like little things so I got her some chocolates she loves Kinder Bueno and some Tony's chocolates because she's done a lot of the time in the Netherlands this year so I thought that would be cute and then I just have like these three wagon wheels as well just to like bulk it up also for Sophia I got her some Percy Pigs Christmas themed I don't know why she just loves Percy Pigs and I just thought that would be really cute to be like Welcome, you made it to Europe. Here's some Percy Pigs. Anyway, um, I'm so excited. I don't think I'm going to film anything tomorrow, but I will definitely film when I go to the airport and when I see the girlies because that's when all the fun's going to start. So, I'll see you then. Okay, guys. It's around the day is here. It's currently 10.04, 10 a.m. Sophia lands at 11.40. Um, I'm gonna leave here, my Airbnb, at 11 and like catch the bus, train, walk. I don't really know yet, it's just around the corner, is the airport. And I'm so, like, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I just know I'm gonna be standing at the arrivals gate for like ages and like second guessing and being like, oh my god, like, is she through yet? Has she come out yet? Why is it taking so long? And all I'm gonna wanna do is text her. But yeah, I'm so excited. Um,. It's also Lydia's birthday today, so I'm also super excited about that. And we've got a couple little treaties and surprises for her. Oh, my battery's dying, I need to charge it. Okay, we made it. I literally almost died getting here. I'm so sweaty. I don't know if you can see. That is not an outline of my bra, that is sweat. I literally just stripped off my thick jumper and my ski jacket because I just need a moment to cool to cool down. Um, so this flight is delayed a bit more. So now nah, it says it's landing at 12:20. So I honestly feel like I'm gonna be in the airport for two hours. Um, Her flight keeps getting delayed. She hasn't actually landed yet. We keep waiting. Oh, <laughs> 